Hi, this is Dr. Roger Murphy, yourfibrodoctor.com, author of Treating and Beating Fibromyalgia and Chronic Fatigue Syndrome. On today's Fibromyalgia Health Tip, I want to share some information that I hope will help you in your quest to feel good again. I think one of the, the, the real dilemmas for a lot of people with fibromyalgia is they wonder, number one, what the illness is, and then number two, why them? You know, why did they get fibromyalgia? And I've been in practice for 26 years, and I've specialized in fibromyalgia for the last 20 years. And over this last uh, two decades, what I've learned is there's really two subsets of people, two, two groups of people who get fibromyalgia. And this sounds kind of simplistic, but I think it will it'll resonate with you. And I go into much more detail in my book. But I find that uh, the, you know, my patients fall into one or two categories. They're either type A's. And, you know, the type A's, they, they're, they're doers, right? And that's many of you watching this video post, you know, you do. You do and you do and you do and, and you know, maybe you used to because if you have fibromyalgia, you're probably pretty limited what you can do these days. Um, but in the past, you, you know, could have been uh, working 40, 60 hours a week, uh, went to every PTA meeting, maybe volunteered for your church or on some, some uh, charity boards and, you know, you're a soccer mom, you did all these different things, and you were a real go-getter, a real type A, you know, you were an achiever. And I, a lot of the patients that I work with are bankers and lawyers and doctors and nurses and bus drivers and, um, you know, pe house cleaners, and I, and I work with all sorts of people. Uh, my practice is, is now 95% phone consults. I get to work with patients all over the world, but it doesn't matter whether that's somebody here in the U.S. or somebody overseas. At some point, something happens along the way, and you, you do and you do and you do and do, and then one day, you're done out. That's it. You're just done, and you're never the same. And eventually, after, you know, typically used to be, it's not it's quite as bad now, it used to be it took seven years and 12 different doctors before you ever got the diagnosis of fibromyalgia. It happens, you know, a little quicker now, although for many of you, it may take years uh, of seeing doctor after doctor, what I call the medical merry-go-round, where you go see one doctor after the next, you start with your general practitioner, and then they refer you maybe to an orthopedic doctor or neurologist, and then they send you to a rheumatologist, and before you know it, you've kind of seen every ologist and proctologist and sociologist or whatever it is, you've seen all these doctors and you've tried all these different medications, and you know, years go by and you still really don't feel any better, that's the medical uh, merry-go-round for fibromyalgia because traditional medicine drug therapy alone is a dead end and uh, doing this 20 years I learned this the hard way but drug therapy alone is a dead end for fibromyalgia uh, but looking at the the doers the people who do 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 and then one day they're done a lot of times they can think back there was something the straw that broke the camel's back and it could have been for some people maybe it was a surgery it could you know hysterectomy could have been um, the death of a loved one. They finally quit their job that they'd hated for years. Whatever that is, but something comes along and they're never the same. And when your body breaks down like that, there's no drug that can solve that problem. The only way to resolve that problem, to correct that problem, is to get healthy. And part of that is to find and fix the underlying reasons for your symptoms. Uh, that we call fibromyalgia. Now, the other group are people who are the caregivers. And so I take care of a lot of doctors. I take care of a lot of nurses. and But you don't have to be a professional caregiver. You could be the caregiver in your family. You're the person that everybody turns to to help when there's something going on. Or maybe you're taking care of a special needs child or maybe an elderly parent. But you're the caregiver, and you always have been the caregiver. And you give and you give and you give and you give and you know you're the kind of person that you just had surgery two days earlier and then your church calls and says hey we need some volunteers to help with this Wednesday night dinner can you come help out and you and you go because that's what you do you know you're you're a giver and but one day you find that you you've given out and you can't give anymore so again, just like the type A, you find that something comes along, it's the straw that breaks the camel's back, and you're never the same. And that's really the challenge with fibromyalgia. What you need to realize is that fibromyalgia is just a name.
That's all it is. It's a name. It's a name given to describe a group of common symptoms that people with fibromyalgia have. Diffuse, achy, sometimes disabling, uh, um, devastating pain. Fatigue, fatigue from hell. You know, the fatigue where you just can hardly get out of bed. And many of you don't get out of bed some days. Uh, so it's fatigue. You know, this low energy state. Poor sleep. Irritable bowel syndrome. Restless leg syndrome. Uh, fibro fog. We don't think clearly. Some of these things that I've talked about on these past videos. Uh, all these things add up, and we, and you know, you come underneath the umbrella of this name. They put the, the, the rubber stamp on your forehead that says, "Yeah, you got fibromyalgia," and then they tell you, "What?" They tell you, you "Just learn to live with it." And doctors tell you that because they know drug therapy long term doesn't work. They'll give you drugs to manage the symptoms, but long term that doesn't work. And if you try to manage each and every symptom, before you know it, you're on half a dozen to a dozen drugs because there's just so many daggum symptoms associated with fibromyalgia. When patients start working with me, typically, as I said, by phone, most of my patients are on anywhere from half a dozen to a dozen drugs. And then using the natural protocols that I use, that I talk about in my book, and then use when I'm working with my patients one-on-one, -on -one, I'm able to get them off 95% of these medications. I'm able to get them off by using natural protocols to allow them to be able to get deep restorative sleep, re drastically reduce their pain, get some energy back, help them with stamina and resistance to stress, something that's very, very important. And, um, you, you know, what happens a, a lot of times with fibromyalgia is it's this process where you just accept that this is as good as it's going to be, and you get frustrated you don't even go see doctors anymore. And that's sad, and I, but I understand it. Again, I've been doing this 20 years. I've worked with thousands of patients, and I know exactly what you're going through. Um, but it's sad that so many people just kind of give up. And I would encourage you not to give up. I would encourage you if you were a type A and you did and you did and you did and finally, you know, you were done out, or you were a caregiver, you gave and you gave and you gave and you gave, and, you gave, and then finally you gave out you know, what you've done is you've depleted your stress coping chemicals. You've depleted your stress coping bank account. These chemicals, these hormones, vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and essential fatty acids that allow you to be able to handle stress. When you deplete these chemicals, your body doesn't work like it's supposed to. And you can't change that with drug therapy, but you can with the right doses in combination of vitamins, minerals, uh, essential fatty acids and amino acids that are actually the building blocks that make the hormones, that make the happy hormones, neurotransmitters, that make thyroid, that make DHEA, that make these chemicals that you need to reduce pain, to raise your pain threshold. They come from the vitamins and minerals and essential fatty acids and other things that we should be getting in our diet but are not for various reasons. Some of those with fibromyalgia have a genetic glitch just the way God made them. They can't convert certain foods that they eat into the chemicals they need. It's just the way they're made. And so there's ways around that. I would like to encourage you to go to my website, yourfibrodoctor.com, and check out all the free resources. I hopefully will meet some of you on a free Tuesday night teleconference that I do where you can call in and get your questions answered. Uh, hopefully I'll get to meet some of you uh, by doing a phone consult. So I work with patients all over the world and you can uh, set up a phone consult where I will go over your paperwork, go over any of your past labs, and then I will share with you what I think needs to be done to get you healthy again so that you feel good and you stay that way. Um, within about a 30-minute conversation with me on a phone consult, you'll know what your options are uh, to, to, to be able to actually uh, have a life again and not just learn to live with it. Um, again, this is Dr. Roger Murphy, uh, author of Treating and Beating Fibromyalgia and Chronic T Syndrome. This book is available in its fifth edition on Amazon.com, many bookstores, as well as uh, on my website. You can, get a, you can get three free chapters on my website, yourfibrodoctor.com. I encourage you to start there. See if it makes sense to you. For some of you, it, it, it doesn't. You know, this is an approach that's not for you. For many of you, this is the approach that you've been looking for for years and just never knew that you had this option. You've been trying to figure it out on your own, and you haven't been able to, and you just needed a health coach. 
and now here I am. So hopefully I'm going to get to meet you soon. Uh, until next time, uh, I want to encourage you again to go to my website and take advantage of all the free re videos, free uh, webinars on there, free audios. There's a ton of free stuff on there, and, and I want you to take advantage of it. Thanks for joining me. This is Dr. Roger Murphy, your fibrodoctor.com, author of Treating and Beating Fibromyalgia and Chronic Fatigue Syndrome.